So the very simple question that the American people are asking is where was the Fed, where was the chairman of the Fed in terms of observing the recklessness, the speculation, the casino type activities that were taking place on Wall Street which precipitated this major economic decline. I absolutely will not vote for Mr. Bernanke. He is part of the problem. He is the smartest guy in the world. Why did he do anything to prevent us from sinking into this disaster the Wall Street caused and which he was a part of? No, I will not vote for Bernanke to stay on as chairman. I've recently put a hold on the renomination of Ben Bernanke as chairman of the Fed. And I'm going to do everything that I can to see that he's not reappointed. Now, why am I doing that? Uh, I'm doing that because this country today is in the midst of the worst economic crisis we have been in since the Great Depression. 17% of our people are unemployed or underemployed. One out of four kids in this country is on food stamps. Millions of people have lost their homes. The gap between very rich and everybody else is going wider. Now, while the trend of a collapsing middle class has taken place for many, many years, obviously this recession was precipitated by the greed, recklessness, and illegal behavior on Wall Street a little over a year ago. Now, one of the key responsibilities of the Fed is to maintain the safety and soundness of our financial institutions. That's what their job is. That's why they have almost 3,000 bank supervisors. So the very simple question that the American people are asking is where was the Fed, where was the chairman of the Fed in terms of observing the recklessness, the speculation, the casino type activities that were taking place on Wall Street which precipitated this major economic decline. And the answer is the Fed was asleep at the wheel. Bernanke did not do the job that he was supposed to have done. So for that reason alone, Mr. Bernanke should not be reappointed. But then we have to ask, what did he do after the financial collapse? Was he paying attention to the middle class and working families of this country, or was he primarily pre preoccupied with the well-being of large financial institutions on Wall Street? I think the record is pretty clear that his worry was not the economy, was not creating decent paying jobs or protecting consumers. Now, one of the responsibilities that the Fed has is to protect consumers. The chairman of the Fed could have said to the bailed out financial institutions, you know what? You're not going to charge working Americans 25 or 30 percent interest rates on their credit card. We're going to put a cap on what you can charge, perhaps at 15 percent, which is what credit unions get. He could have done that. The chairman of Fed could have said to bailed out financial institutions, you know what? You're not going to be paying out huge compensation packages to the CEOs, but what you are going to be doing is providing low interest loans to small and medium sized businesses who today are starving for that credit so they can go out and create the jobs that our economy desperately needs. Now since, since the bailout, which was brought about as you know because institutions were quote unquote too big to fail, well you know what happened to these big institutions? They became bigger. Three out of the four largest banks in this country are bigger now than they were before the bailout. Well that's pretty crazy to me. That means there's more systemic risk to our economy if these guys go under. The chairman of the Fed should be doing what they're doing in the United Kingdom, what many economists are calling for right now, and that is if an institution is too big to fail, it's too big to exist, let's start breaking them up. And lastly, what this chairman, Mr. Bernanke, is not doing is providing the kind of transparency that the American people want regarding this very, very powerful institution called the Fed. When Bernanke came before my committee, and I'm on the Budget Committee, and I said, Mr. Bernanke, you have lent out trillions of dollars in zero interest loans to some of the largest financial institutions in America. Can you please tell me the names of those institutions and what the terms and agreements were? And Mr. Bernanke said, no, nope, not going to tell you. Well, I happen to think the American people are entitled to have that information, and Bernanke is not giving it to us. So we need a new chairman, somebody who is going to pay attention to small and medium-sized business, somebody who's going to do everything that he or she can to grow our economy, create decent paying jobs, somebody who's going to protect consumers against outrageously high uh, interest rates on their credit cards, and somebody who is going to stand up for ordinary people. So I'm going to do my best to see that Mr. Bernanke is defeated, and I hope I, in that process uh, I can have the support of millions of people throughout this country. Thanks very much.